good, YouTube? It's your boy, DT and OT, and I'm back again with another one, man. Y'all know what's going on. Today, I'm about to react to Spaz Drilly, the Drilly Gang Assassin, you feel me? Uh, one of the supporters definitely sent me this shit. So we about to see what's up. And y'all know I'm already in tune with Spaz a little bit, a little bit, because when I started reacting to him, bro's already locked up, you feel me? So free that man, even though we know that situation. <laughs> it's going to be tough for that man to get home. <laughs> but definitely free that man. Hope he in good spirits all that shit, man. Streets is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Streets don't love nobody. But before I get into this video and we see what this is about, I need all my new viewers, hit that like button, hit that sub button, man. Y'all know what's going on. We try and hit that 5K. Yo, we mad close, y'all. Y'all been showing me mad love. And y'all know, I say this all the time. This is why I'm dropping for y'all, you feel me? Y'all showing me love. I got to do what I got to do for you guys, you feel me? So like up, sub up, all that good shit. Drop comments. Let me know what else you want me to react to and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, follow me on IG. You can send me what you want me to react to over to IG because I'm checking everything. We going crazy this month. We might go crazy like this next month too, man. You feel me? So definitely like up. If you like the consistency and shit like that, make sure that I hit the like button so I know to keep it going like this. You feel me? But let's get into this shit and see what um, the Hood Siri is about to put us on to. You feel me? <laughs> let's get it. Sure, 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 sure. Daniel's mouse car is in the Bronx this morning. By our count, there have been 11 people shot. This nigga looks like a young Trump. <laughs> right there on his stoop last night by a man who walked right up to him and shot him at point blank range. Looks like when cops and EMS arrived, they found him shot in the chest and in the face. Yo, J Money, where you at, my nigga? Get on the lap and you get your ass clapped. Where do I want? Oh, you want a suspense bit, huh? All right, so the person who people forget to mention, and the person who's responsible for this new wave of Bronx drill is Spaz Drilly. No doubt, one of the most demonic figures to come out of New York since the Bronx Drill Nigga wave started. Fans are probably not familiar to who Spaz Drilly is, and in order to understand this story, we would have to travel to the Bronx. From starting his own wave at the age of 16 to being charged with two murders in a matter of months, Spaz Drilly was no strength. What the fuck is the guy had in his mouth? Starting his own wave at the age of 16 to being charged with two murders in a matter of months. Spaz Drilly was no stranger to the NYPD. They said two murders they were trying to find many ways to bring him down. And at the time of the story, there was a deadly war going on between two factions. The OGs were linked up with DOA at the time, and they were beefing heavily with the YGs and a gang that Spaz Drilly himself created at the age of 15. The Drillies. 20 accused members behind bars. Bronx prosecutors and police say that they are linked to more than 30 acts Nigga of made the gang at 15. Tonight, the and them niggas are still going. <laughs> That's crazy. Now let's get into the story. In order to understand the story, we would have to travel to the Bronx, more specifically, Gun Hill. Gun Hill. Now I can't front this nigga spies. <laughs> Was really talking shit in his drills and shit like that. His drills, drill music. <laughs> his shit that I reacted to, he was really on that, bro. And as you can see, he was really on that. <laughs> he was really on that with the. There's a section of the Bronx that have been known for notorious neighborhoods. But there's one neighborhood that stands out from the others. And that neighborhood is G Side. This is the neighborhood that Spaz Drilly is from. G Side is notorious for being one of the most hated neighborhoods in the Gun Hill section. They beef with almost everyone. And uh -oh. the block was so diverse at the time, they had all types of different gangs in one neighborhood, from the YGs to the Crips to the Bloods. This caused a lot of tension between a lot of different neighborhoods and sets. You had blocks like Sef Side repping Sex Money Murder, beefing with G Side, who also have members repping Sex Money Murder. And on top of that, the area is so. Bro. That's how all these link-ups be so crazy, my nigga. It be like, what the fuck? It wasn't like this when I was younger, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like it be like, all right, we know these is the... <laughs> we know these is these niggas. We know these is these niggas, and these is these niggas. But now I be like, that nigga really that. But he fuck with this nigga. But that nigga from that side, but he fuck with these niggas. So that's why these niggas be... You know what I'm saying? That shit just be crazy. Too many politics be happening, bro, because of that shit. Well, that G-Side inherited beef with blocks two minutes away from them, so this causes police to be on their neighborhood 24-7. 
That's what 18 I guns in 20 cases. niggas. Just recently. 18 guns in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 niggas. That means only two niggas was lacking. <laughs> only two niggas was lacking. Crazy. There was a massive raid. 20 members of the G-Side drilling gang were charged with racketeering. Growing up on G-Side, Spaz drilling used to go by the name of Spaz Jet. That's because he was a member of the Bloodhound Grims. And on top of that, it was known that Spaz was a hothead. Just at the age of 15, Spaz caught the eye of the NYPD. He would get picked up for dozens of charges ranging from attempted murder to armed robbery, but with no substantial evidence on him, he was forced to let him free, allowing him back into the streets. So because of this, he was becoming an infamous figure to the NYPD, so they hated him. His name was well known in gun Every time police. there was a shooting or an incident, they would always tie his name to it. And by the age of 17, he became one of the top members for G-Side, so every opposing gang wanted his head. But Spaz wasn't the only hothead in his neighborhood. Sir. There was another hothead from G-Side that went by the name Dumb Out. <laughs> Yo, y'all seen the white boy? Y'all seen the white boy in the cut? <laughs> the opposing gang wanted his head. But Spaz wasn't the only hothead on his neighborhood. There was another hothead from G-Side that went by the name <laughs> Why, why did this nigga do this that? Was the best friend of Spaz Drilly. The two knew each other since they were kids. They were practically brothers. That's and Dumbout was a high-ranking member of the Brims himself. He got put on at an early age. And from that point, him and Spaz were getting into trouble. They even jumped Tweaking. and robbed little TJ. It happened while TJ was leaving school. Spaz, dumb out, and a couple of other G-Side members found out where TJ went to school. Knowing that TJ was from an opposition block, they proceeded to brutally beat him up and rob him for his shoes. The whole thing was captured on video. The two I myself up friends, now, right? I saw rich now. Arrested. Spaz came through and helped bail him out. And the fact that they were controlling their block at a very young age, it was bound for trouble to happen. And that's exactly what happened. This surveillance video shows a fight with a deadly ending. It happened just after midnight here on DeKalb Avenue in the Norwood section of the Bronx. Witnesses tell Fix 11 at first the fight started inside this building, then spilled out. Hold on, boy. That man was ashy like that. Nah, something got it. He has to be going through something. In the Norwood section of the Bronx, witnesses tell Fix 11. Nah, it's getting peeling. He got to have something going on. At first, the fight ain't started that ashy. inside the building. <laughs> Then spilled that's out crazy. onto the street, and that's when someone in the group pulled a knife. When they went across the street, they started fighting. Oh yeah, him. that's something going that's on. That's why I know the screams. People say you stab him, you stab him. I see the guy laying in the street, pull his chest, and beat him down. The victim, 18-year-old Damian Gilbert, died at the hospital, stabbed several times in the chest. You can Damn. see the victim stumble right there. Now police are looking for a killer, someone the victim knew. The superintendent of the building where the fight started says it seems like the teens were playing a game that somehow took a tragic turn. It's a bunch of kids playing inside the building, but all the building inside the garden and the tender under the room. I see them, most of them don't live here, they're all friends. The victim's friends and family are in complete shock, spending the day building this makeshift memorial. Everybody's like family around here. So you see how they're talking through the window. By May 29, 2018, Dumbout was with some friends in his building. When he and a Crip member from Gun Hill were arguing, the two had a fight. Dumbout got the best of him, and a Crip member fatally stabbed him in his chest. He was Damn, only 18. Damn, so that's a bitch ass shit, bro. Because your homie beat you up, you tight like nigga? Like what? Fight again? Make them no stab him? That's some corny ass shit, bro. I see them, most of them don't live here, they're all friends. The victim's friends and family are in complete shock, spending the day building this makeshift memorial. Everybody's like family around here. That's Those fucking corny, bro. Know. Word two. By May 29, 2018, Dumbout was with some friends in his building. When he and a Crip member from Gun Hill were arguing, the two had a fight. Dumbout got the best of him, and the Crip member fatally stabbed him in his chest. He was only 18. After his death, the opposition took it to social media to make fun of him. Even to this day, Lil TJ mocks his death by posting his pictures on his Instagram story, and Shahi K even dropped a song called D&D &D with his initial yeah, D on the 
5.9 M's on that shit, bro. <laughs> 519M, Sean got with that shit. Well, Sean and Black Oak, I should say. This situation made G side and the YGs hate Crips. That's why you see them in almost every video screaming Crip K, which stands for Crip Killer. That After stands the death for of Crip Dumb Killer. Out, there was a big rift in Gun Hill. You see, Dumb Out was cool with a lot of people, so after his death, a lot of Crip allies were broken up, and a lot of neutral gangs Damn. had to pick a side. This Damn. meant that there was a lot of new alliances being formed. Shit like this bring on more politics between niggas. This shit just be crazy. That's why I say the streets love nobody, bro. Because things, you don't know. You just don't know what, who, fuck with who. And then like you said, like the, the nigga said in the video, you have to choose sides. And you pick a side and then it's like, shit just be crazy on the war that comes with this shit. With one enemy in particular. So Spaz created his own alliance to honor Dumbout's name. Spaz then came up with the name Drilly. At first, Drilly was supposed to be a music group, but the police labeled them as a gang because of all the crimes they were committing throughout the city. The Drillies would then expand and join forces with the YGs and form Drilly Gs. With the two most hated gangs in the Bronx United, it was bound for chaos to happen. Are you skating? In 2020, the Bronx started to get a little buzz on the drill scene. Spaz Drilly started off the year dropping a song called Bunny Hop. The song did good in numbers, reaching hundreds of thousands of views. After seeing the buzz that Spaz got, rappers like Shawty K, B-Love, K-Flock and others dropped their first singles months after. It was at that point that Bronx Drill was on the rise. Most people don't know that Spaz Drilly was one of the first drill rappers in the Bronx. In 2016, he dropped his first music video at the age of 16. Then by 2020, he had started his own wave of drill in the Bronx. He even created his own dance moves that are popular today. Like nah, the if he was Park, free, bro, Park. if Spaz was out right now, nah, he would be a problem with this drill shit. Not because he lived with rap, but just because, like, you know what I'm saying? He be flowing too if you listen to his tracks. With all the buzz and attention he had, that didn't stop him from going on live with his ops and threatening them. Oh, he wants to spend spin, huh? He probably got him a little woo woo. <laughs> try to put, try, try put his name on the map. A little woo woo. He was like, dude, be clapping and putting him on my song. Yo, J Money, we. <laughs> I think it's a clap to put it with his song. That would be so crazy. Like, niggas do not be caring. Niggas say, yeah, he probably got him a little gun, but so what? Still fuck him. <laughs> Shit just be crazy. Uh, he probably got him a little woo woo. Try to put, try, try put his name on the map. <laughs> little woo woo. Niggas like, dude, be clapping and putting him on my song. Yo, J Money, where you at, my nigga? Get off the lap. You get your ass clapped. Run around while you're getting me tired. You're getting me mad, bro. Where you at? Link ups in the V. I'm out here. We white, nigga. I'm about. That's how you know we spend y'all block, nigga. Nigga. We to come back again. Spaz <laughs> really is talking time, crazy. The beef between Drilly and DOA was heating up. Spaz dropped a song called Ops Father, which was a diss to all opposing sides. Three months later, K Flock and B Love made a diss track using the exact same title. So with the back and forth going on, it was only a matter of time until things got ugly. Then, on July 20th, 2020, a Crip member and DOA affiliate was shot and killed on Gun Hill. For 11 days, police were on a hunt looking for the killer. Damn. They That's when they days. announced that they had a suspect in hand. That suspect was Spaz Drilly. He was charged with first-degree murder. Fast forward two years later, he's now fighting two murders and racketeering charges, and is awaiting trial in Rikers Island. And there you crazy. have it, the story of Spaz Drilly. He taking his shit to trial? Wrong. Spaz Drilly was an amazing artist, but the stuff he was saying in his songs, he was actually doing. And eventually it caught up to him. And with him being in prison for two years, he missed out on the Bronx Drill wave. The wave ah, that facts. he himself started. And That's what I'm saying, worse, he was the free. The feds added additional charges after the Drillies got indicted. And with conviction rates being 95%, it's not looking good for him. And that's it for this video. Damn, Comment if you want me to cover in my next video. They gonna video. throw the book at him taking that shit to trial, bro. My son was really a demon rapping when he rapped. And listen, I mean, rapping when he lived.
And like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody fuck with the real niggas, you feel me? Even me, like, you not rap capping. Yeah, that's a good thing. You not lying in your raps. Then at the same time, bro, look at the situations that you could get in because of it, you know what I'm saying? So that shit could go either way. Niggas just gotta smarten up and focus on that bag. Like I say all the time, the streets don't love nobody, boy. Streets don't love nobody. And yeah, these niggas is gangsters. They gotta do what they gotta do to survive. But as a rapper, look, look at this nigga. He started a wave, you feel me? He was good at it and get booked. And now look, the Bronx is going dumb right now, you feel me? Well, they've been going dumb for like the past year. Niggas just been going stupid. So it's just like, it's very, very, very unfortunate. I hope, like I said, bro, in good spirits, free that man, you know what I'm saying? But this shit crazy. But Mafia, if you like this video, you like this type of content, man, hit the like button, like up on it crazy. And then, you know, drop, drop it in the, um, in the comments. If you find more videos like this, send it to me, you know what I'm saying? And we could go up on the channel and shit like that. But if you made it this far in the video, you know what you gotta do, man. Hit that like button, hit that sub. Don't be no ghost watcher. We going crazy, you feel me? We trying to hit that 5K and y'all showing me bad love. I feel like we about to hit that real soon. So I got shit unlocking once we hit that, you know what I'm saying, that mark and shit like that. But like I said, hit that like, hit that sub, man. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. It's your boy D-Tro T, signing out, man. Bye!